Um, so as the players are playing the game, uh, they're getting experience points. And they can get experience points through many different ways. They can get it through missions, uh, doing tasks for the secret society, killing monsters, uh, crafting, and even PvP. And uh, the line here at the bottom is the experience bar. Uh, and as you can see, it's divided up in three segments. And when the player fills up one third of it, he'll be given an ability point. And looks like that. And uh, when it fills up the whole bar, he will be getting a skill point. And that looks like that. Uh, and you can spend these points in the ability wheel. Now, in the ability wheel, we have over 500 unique abilities. Um, these are spread out over uh, nine different weapon types. We have shotguns, pistols, assault rifles, blades, hammers, fists, blood magic, chaos magic, and elementalism. And the player can learn all of these abilities with a single character. Uh, there are two main types of abilities. We have the active abilities. Uh, these are the ones that the user actively presses to make something happen in the game, like a sword attack or a sniper shot. Uh, but equally important are the passive abilities. They're the ones that constantly affect your character, and they can really alter the way that the active abilities work. So all of these tiny squares here uh, are referred to as cells. Uh, and in, inside each cell, uh, there's seven abilities. And the player has to buy them sequentially, starting from the top with the more basic ones, and then going down uh, to the bottom. Uh, and the seventh ability in each cell is an elite ability. The elite abilities are special and super awesome. Um, and the player can only have one elite ability, uh, one elite active ability, and one elite passive ability. Because um, we the players aren't required to run around with 500 abilities. You have to make a choice. You have to pick out seven active abilities and seven passive abilities. So those are referred to as a build. Uh, and the cool thing here is that there's tons of different synergies between these abilities. Uh, the player can wield two weapons at the same time. So a lot of the player's skill comes in the form of picking out weapons that work well with each other and also picking out the right abilities that work well with each other. So we're going to close this now and take a look at uh, how combat works. We're following these two players. Um, the girl we're, we're looking at here is wielding an assault rifle and a shotgun. Now every, every different weapon type uh, in the game has a unique resource. And you build these resources either on the target or on yourself. And the cool thing is you can consume these resources for some special effects, some extra uh, damage or healing or crowd controlling. Um, so you use these special type of build, um, abilities called builders to apply the resources and you use some uh, abilities called consumers to consume them. Uh, and every weapon type uh, has something unique to offer uh, in, the, in combat. You can play as a direct damage dealer with any of the weapons, but they also have a secondary role. So assault rifle, for instance, has leeching abilities. Leeching abilities is a damaging attack, but it will return a percentage of the damage dealt back to you or your friendly target as healing. So it's great for, for staying alive and, and survivability. Um, she's also wielding a shotgun. And a shotgun is perfect for uh, fighting multiple enemies at the same time because it damages everything in front of you. Uh, and many of the abilities doesn't even require a target. Uh, as you'll also see as these guys are approaching this temple, uh, is that you can move and fight at the same time. You don't have to stand still and cast. And this is an important part of the combat because there are a lot of bad things that you can avoid as long as you read the monster's animations uh, and, and uh, sort of care about your, your surroundings. Uh, so it's great to be on the move uh, and be, be dynamic in, in the fighting that way. So as these guys are entering the temple courtyard here, they meet this big boss. Uh, and this is a great opportunity to uh, showcase one of the great features of the secret world. Uh, we don't have any classes. You're never tied down to a particular class or a play style. So right now, these guys want to tackle this boss. Um, uh, her friend here is playing the healer, and we need somebody who can tank this boss, who can soak up a lot of damage and hold aggro, hold the focus of the, of the boss. So uh, in the game, we have something called the gear manager. Uh, in here, we have a pre-made build a set of abilities and equipment. We can take a look at it. Uh, here we see what this, uh, this setup contains, what weapons, what gear, what abilities. Uh, and with the click of a button, we can change from being a ranged damage dealer to being a melee tank-like character. And this is really important because 
in the secret world in general. You're never locked down to a particular playstyle. You're never locked down to a class. And the cool thing here is also is that you can share these builds with each other. So if you have made a really, really good build and you want to uh, send that to your friend, you can, you can send it through the game and he can look at the build and say, oh, this looks really good, I want to try that out.